I have the base model of the Galaxy S23 here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to disable and uninstall all of the Bixby services without having to have root access to the device. This process will work on the regular version of the Galaxy S23 that I have here. And it will also work on the larger Galaxy S23 Plus and the Galaxy S23 Ultra as well. If you have ever tried to power off this device through the traditional power button on the side here, then you've likely noticed that it no longer brings up the power menu by default. So, so the, the first, first thing, thing that I want to show you is that we can make this button work like normal by opening up the settings application and then searching for the word side. From here, tap on the side key option that appears in the results and then select the power off menu option from within the press and hold section. With that done, you should see that it works just like you are familiar with and you no longer have to worry about activating Bixby when you try to turn off the smartphone or restart it. For many people, this is all you need to do to not be bothered by Bixby anymore. Samsung likes to use the Galaxy S23 series to promote its services, but many of us simply do not want to use this virtual assistant. And removing its ability to, to be activated by pressing the power button is enough for some people. But we can take this a step further and actually disable the Bixby voice service entirely. This is done by opening up the settings application, scrolling down a little bit, and then selecting the apps option. We then need to tap the filter button and then enable show system apps. And now, whenever we search for Bixby, you should see a number of options appear in this list. We have Bixby Vision, Bixby Voice, and some other Bixby services as well. We can disable the Bixby Voice service from running in the background by tapping on it, and then selecting the Disable button down there at the bottom. All we have to do now is confirm that we want to disable that app. And then the Bixby voice service will not be allowed to run in the background. If you want to stop here, then you can, and you'll be assured that the Bixby voice service will not be allowed to run. However, whenever we did that search for Bixby, you'll notice that there are a number of apps and services installed on this device. The sad thing is that if we try to select one of the other options in this list, we can't disable it because that option is grayed out. But we can actually use a simple ADB command to uninstall all of those apps from the default user account on our Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or Galaxy S23 Ultra. This will truly prevent them from running in the background and will effectively remove them from our device. For this to work, we first need to install ADB and Fastboot tools on our desktop or laptop PC. We also need to enable developer mode on our device and then we need to enable USB debugging mode or wireless debugging. Now, if you are not familiar with how to do any of these things listed here, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll include some links to previous videos that I have already done, which show you how to set all of this up. Now, in order to use ADB, to uninstall these apps and services, we need to know the package name of these apps. 
So when I use an application to reveal the package names of all of these Bixby services, I find that we actually have five different services running on the Galaxy S23 series that pertain to Bixby. So with USB deb debugging mode enabled and ADB and Fastboot tools installed on our PC, let's connect our smartphone to the PC with a USB cable and then begin removing these Bixby services and apps from the device. Now we're going to need to open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And then we want to make sure that our PC is able to make a connection to our Galaxy S23 by typing out the command ADB space devices and then pressing enter. As long as you see your phone's serial number right here, and it doesn't say that the device is unauthorized, then that means we are good to go. Next, we're going to drop into an ADB shell by typing out the command ADB space shell and pressing enter. Now this should bring you to another prompt that looks a little bit different, but with the same blinking cursor and this should actually display the code name of your device here. From here, we are actually able to uninstall those Bixby services. And we do that by typing out an ADB command for each of the Bixby apps that we saw in that package name application. So first, we're gonna type out PM space uninstall space dash k space dash dash user space zero space and then the package name for one of those bixby apps the first one we're going to be doing is com dot samsung dot android dot app dot settings dot bixby and we're going to press enter to execute that command. And if we did it properly and typed out everything correctly, then you should get a success message here. The second command that we're going to type out is again, PM uninstall dash K dash dash user zero. And then the second package name is com dot Samsung dot Android dot Bixby dot agent and we're going to press enter and again we're going to look for a success message so you're starting to see a pattern here for the command that we're typing out so the third one is going to be for the package name com dot samsung dot android dot bixby vision dot framework and we're going to press enter the fourth command that we're going to execute is for the package name com.samsung.android.bixby.wakeup. We're going to press enter and again look for a success message. The fifth and final command that we need to type out is for the package name com.samsung dot android dot vision intelligence and just like before we're going to press enter to execute that command and look for that success message as long as we do not get an error message when executing any of these commands then that means we did it correctly with all of that done we can go back to our galaxy s23 Galaxy S23 Plus or Galaxy S23 Ultra to check and see if these apps are there anymore. Again, we can do that by opening up the settings application, selecting apps, making sure the show system apps toggle is enabled, and then doing a search 
for the word Bixby. You can see no results are found. You can also use the package name app to do a search. But as you can see here, these four and five Bixby applications are no longer installed on the default user account for our smartphone. I hope this has helped anyone who has been annoyed by Bixby and would rather it just not be installed on your device. Sure, we could simply just change the side key preference if we wanted to, but then you would still have Bixby services running in the background and taking up both CPU and battery resources. Now that we have uninstalled them with ADB, these apps are not allowed to run in the background with our default user account, so you don't have to worry about them being triggered and activated in the background.